is up you guys it's december 19th this is the time and it's 43 well, it's gonna get colder i think it's about 39 degrees but this is the heaviest part of of this first series of storms coming through right now so we are going to go cruising around i thought maybe we would go into upper moon ridge take that route the higher we go the heavier the rain's gonna get probably but good morning everyone I had a feeling that the heaviest of all of this was gonna be right around now <clears throat> I never miss any of this anyway hope you all are having a great sleep <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what I'm doing I'd appreciate it and if you want any merch, go to BigBearWeatherAndMore.com. And last but not least, for your guys' ski and snowboard rental needs, when you come up here, go to a place called Get Boards. It's right there on Big Bear Boulevard. The, all the information is in the description of the video. So I hope you guys check it out and uh, tell them that I sent you and they will take care of you. So we're on Moon Ridge Road right now, but we're crossing over onto, I always forget what, what this road's called, Sunset. Yes, Sunset. We are heading up to Upper Moon Ridge. So you're not going to believe, <clears throat> I mean, I know it happens all the time down the mountain, but <clears throat> I was at 7-Eleven tonight, <clears throat> and uh, like as, as I'm walking out, a few kids are probably in their late teens early 20s with like stuff covering their face ran out with with a bunch of alcohol and stuff like that and when I was driving to 7-eleven off of Brownie Lane there was a car just kind of parked there that was really out of place and when when I, when I saw these guys run out of the store they ran to that car and the great thing is is I have a dash cam so I let the police know because we're not gonna put up with that up here I mean seriously I'm from Orange County and, and that stuff seems like it's just regular in Orange County and LA and um, we're not gonna deal with with that up here and I mean the people up here just don't have any patience for that type of stuff so hopefully uh, the officers will find them the deputy will find them he said the information that I um, gave him was absolutely awesome so keep your fingers crossed guys that my detective work might help bring a, a couple douchebags to justice oh yeah it's really it's really coming down pretty good right here so we're on a street called Butte B-U-T-T-E heading up to Upper Moon Ridge, and it's definitely raining heavier and heavier the higher in elevation we're going. But yeah, this is this is the approximate area where I saw the heaviest part on the radar about to pass through this area if I read it properly. So that's what we're, that's what we're going through right now. And then it looks like in about an hour this is all gonna end for who knows how long. Looks like maybe a good half of a day so, as you guys know, any significant changes in our weather during the storms, I always make sure I go out and capture it, just like right now. This is the heaviest part of this, this part of the storm. So, I've, I've got to be out here. I've, I've got to do this. I'm very, very OCD about it. If it was snowing, like uh, let's say the snowstorm, snowstorm begins, and it's just really light snow for a few hours, even if I just uploaded a video to show you guys that it's snowing, if it starts snowing heavier, then I go back out right away. Sometimes you'll get three or four videos in a day. But I love doing this for you guys. I love you. I love doing the best I can to keep you all safe and keep you all as informed on our weather as possible. It makes me really, really happy to do that. But yeah, guys, I would seriously be so, so thankful for all you newer folks to please 
subscribe for me hit that like button and even share share these videos on your social media because I know a lot of people do like Big Bear and uh, geez I've been doing this forever so thank you guys well thank you very much oh, yeah thank you very much so we're on a street called oh my gosh why am I forgetting the name of this street that is ridiculous why am I spacing it it's, it's, it's the main street in Upper Moon Ridge. I'll figure it out in just a second. Well, there you go. On my thing here and see. Uh, I guess I could look at my phone. Oh yeah, we're just catching this like 15, 20 minutes of this heavy stuff slowing down a little bit but once we go around this corner it should pick up a little bit more I'm so glad we caught it temperature is 42 degrees 347 in the a.m. you on a big loop through uh, through Upper Moon Ridge and it's incredible also because as, as you see we didn't climb a huge amount in altitude but when we get snowstorms around here there will be so much more snow up here I mean so much more where I live in Lower Moon Ridge if we get like a foot of snow there they'll have like 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 almost two feet right up here. It's just amazing. All right, I'll try to kind of be a little bit quiet so you guys can enjoy the peaceful ride at 70 something hundred feet. down and end up close to Bear Mountain is, is, is where I think we're going to end up. I wish I would have done something to those, to those two guys. That made me so mad. And the guy working at 7-Eleven Obviously, they're not supposed to chase after them and stuff, but he's like, he's like, hey, where are you going? I'm like, really, dude? He's a cool cat, though. Well, I couldn't believe it, you know? Moved up here to get away from, uh, from 
most of that stuff. When I moved up here, that that wasn't happening on the regular. And people weren't tolerant of that. And that was only nine years ago. But these type of people are starting to eat their own now. And it makes me happy to see that. So this is Wolf. If we make a right here, we'll end up back, oh, you can't see, we'll end up back at Villa Grove. But we're gonna take this until we get to, uh, I don't even know. You guys, thank you for all the super awesome messages. Brings a huge, huge smile to my face. A lot of you know, because I talk about it a lot, but I talk about it hoping that it, it's going to help people. I suffer from severe depression, severe clinical depression, and I don't take any medication for it. You guys, you guys are the best medication, the best therapists, and I'm telling you, you guys leave me the most beautiful, kind, loving, sincere comments. I'm a Pisces, so I feel a lot of my feelings and I wear my feelings on my sleeve. And you guys really bring me to my knees quite often, I must say, in the most beautiful way. And uh, never forget, I will always be here for you guys. I will always be here for you guys. I don't just talk and, and say that just, just to sound like a nice person. Like, I am legitimately here for you guys. You guys are all I got. You guys are my family. All right, so I forget what street this is. I can't see the street sign. So I'm gonna ask my phone again now. What street are we on? You're at Canyon Crest, okay. So to the left, these houses have a view of Bear Mountain. Lucky dogs. Lucky, lucky dogs. I'm trying to keep my eyes peeled for that, for that white SUV. I watched the video so much when I was showing the police officers. evacuation remember I'm pretty sure they came in to Moonridge but it's crazy because I just put this dash cam in the car maybe two two weeks ago I've had it in my center console forever I just haven't plugged it in and, and I decided maybe a week and a half or two weeks ago to, to plug it in and hey it came in handy off on sheep horn. I was hoping I was going to be across this little canyon right here. This little area that you can't see right now, that's a really good place for sledding, for free sledding. And the reason is, is it's uh, it's like a big deep wash. So it, it goes down really steep and then as soon as you get to the bottom it starts going up fairly steep. So your kids never have to worry about sledding into the street or getting hit hit by traffic it's it, it, 
it's a, it's a great spot. As a matter of fact, um, I have on my playlist, on my, I have, a, I have a few, quite a few playlists, but one of them was uh, a video that showed you, I think three or four of these free sledding areas that I found for you guys case you don't want to spend $45 to go sledding. <laughs> I sure don't. Okay, we're on we are on sheep horn right now. And we are going to head over towards Bear real quick. Wow, guys, I really am so stoked that I was able to capture this last little bit, <laughs> which was technically the heaviest part of this part of the storm. I think it's about three or four small low pressure systems starting today and going over the next three or four days. And this is the first one that's pulling out of here. But yeah, we, we caught some of the good rain. basically the street you take to get to Bear Mountain to park and then to also get to the golf course right here. Goldmine is a tiny little street but that's Bear Mountain right there. Obviously you can't see anything up there but that's Bear. That sign. It's such a great sign. This warms my heart. And by the way, I wanted to shout out somebody. Give me a second, let me just uh his birthday today and his friend wanted me to shout him out so I'm, I'm gonna do that let's see here okay Phil my brother happy 35th birthday man you guys it's Phil's birthday so let's all wish Phil a happy 35th birthday his friend uh, let's see I don't know it's just a username Chen Z T Chen Chen Z T C H E N Z T. That's very nice of you, being so considerate of your friend. I really hope Phil, you have a wonderful birthday, man. I hope you stay safe, and I really hope you get a chance to come up here and enjoy Big Bear. Come grace this place with your presence, my friend. And if you have any questions about anything, don't ever hesitate to hit me up. I'm always here for you. But yeah, I really do want to wish you a very happy birthday, my friend. And uh, once again, Chen ZT, you are a super cool cat for, you know, asking, uh, asking me to do that for your friend. That makes me really, really happy. We have so many loving, kind, beautiful people on this channel. So yeah, that would be the shout out. And then also, our friend Paul Seidel from England sent me a, a, sent my wife and I a beautiful Christmas card. He sends us cards all the time from Moonpig. Man, 
I'm telling you, this Paul is such a sweetheart, such a good friend. I'm very grateful to have you in my life, Paul. Very, very grateful. I'm so lucky to have people like you in my life, dude. Okay, so that's that. Again, happy birthday, Mr. Phil. Big 35. Right now we are on Moon Ridge Road. And we are about to finish this update. I was gonna go to the opposite side of town, but it's just a little bit of a rainstorm, so we're good. Hang on a second, I think I saw the truck. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Hang on, I'm just gonna turn around real quick. That would be something. That would be something, you guys. That really looks like it. I don't know, though. Sorry, guys. I don't want people coming up here doing that stuff, so if I can find any way to get these guys popped, then I absolutely will. Just like this white navigator right there. Well, anyway, once again, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for cruising. I know it's not the most fun videos because we don't have so much snow or any snow for that matter, but this is what I do. This is what I do for my, my new adopted town that I've been here for nine years. So thank you guys again for being here. If you like what I do, please like and subscribe. Help me out. I'd really appreciate it. If you guys want to help me and this channel, scroll down in the, in the description of the video and it'll show you how you can help me out too. Um, I'm always grateful for that too. Uh, but yeah, once again, it's December 18th, 2023. Absolutely blessed having you guys in my life. And uh, the next video will probably be when we get a, a couple snowflakes. So fingers crossed. I love you guys. Or no, it's December 19th, 2023. I love you guys. Peace out.